Okay, so I prepared this very simple scene in Blender with just this character that is dancing around and a camera object. Now my target of this tutorial is to show you how to make the camera follow along with this character without having to manually keyframe and rotate the camera to do so. And this is actually surprisingly easy to do. So with the camera object selected, go to the constraint properties and add in a track to constraint. So now in order to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna bring in another object, which is gonna be an empty object. And then on the track two constraint, simply select the empty as the target. And when I now start to move this empty around, you can see that the camera always follows along and perfectly points towards this empty. But now instead of following an empty, we want the camera to follow this character. So let's press X to delete the empty and instead select the armature as our target object. However, since the armature itself is not animated and just the bones, the camera still stands still. So as the bone target, let's select the hips since they are in the center of the character. And you can see now the camera perfectly follows along with our dancing character. But now let's say you want the camera to be zoomed in a bit more. So let's increase the focal length and I want it to point at the head of our character. So instead of the hips, we want to switch it to the head bone and you can see this works as well. However, now the head is centered in the view of the camera and I would prefer the head to be on top of our frame. So in order to do this, we want to use an empty as the target. So again, bring in an empty then place this directly on top of the head of our character. And I want this empty to follow along with the head bone. So shift click on the armature, switch to pose mode, then select only the head bone and press control P to parent it to the bone. And when I now go back into object mode and play the animation, you can see that the empty continues to follow along with the head of our character. So now we can once more select the camera and switch the target from the armature to our empty. And now we have the option to still move this empty around, but it continues to follow along with the head of our character. So I can press G set to move it down until the head is on top of our frame. And when I now play it, you can see that this works perfectly. So this is how easy it is to make the camera follow any object in your 3D scene. Finally, I just quickly want to mention that you can download all of my 3D assets completely for free from my Blender Kit profile. All of them are CC0 licensed, so you can use them for whatever you want and you don't even need to credit me. So I'm gonna put the link to this Blender Kit page into the video description and with the same link you can actually also get a 10% discount on a premium Blender Kit subscription which will give you access to even more 3D assets that can be really useful for your 3D projects. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.